It's a sacrifice. It's a bigger sacrifice. Number one, yes. Let's go oh, that the same. Yeah. So there's a spirit of of connectivity. People have got the same anointing and wealth. Uh, I can say the the God of the altar. The God of an, of an altar. So there are a lot of appellations and a, 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 a lot of factors that constitutes that altar. So which means, as the man of God has said, the God of an altar. If I raise a godly altar against a demonic altar, that without a proper sacrifice, even though that altar is a godly altar, it can be consumed. That's why David, you look at him, he said, even though I'm going to sacrifice to the God, but I need to put a bigger sacrifice. So Gideon, you have elected your altar. Your father was sacrificing on the altar, making vows and incantations. So as you sacrifice, you must make sure that you take those sacrifice upon the altar, break it down, then you place with an altar unto God. So factors, number one, uh, the sacrifice on the altar, the God of the altar, the vows that are upon but two most important things is the spirit behind the altar, which is God, and the sacrifice. That's why uh, Elijah uh, said unto the prophets of Baal, let's erect altars. It was a contest. So you find out that there's always a contestation between altars. Even though you don't believe in spiritual warfare, as long as an altar is being erected in a family, it has declared war. So the Bible says uh, the prophets of Baal erected their altars, then they put the fire on the altars, then uh, the sacrifices on the altars, and they were consumed by their gods as a sign of appreciation, but nothing really happened because they wanted fire to, to come upon the altars. So when Elijah now erected an altar we find out that he said to them put waters in the trenches put water on the fire put water on the sacrifice so what made the god of the sacrifice to come and lick the altar was the sacrifice so elijah if even if he had created an altar unto god without a sacrifice god was not going to lick the the the, the sacrifice so there must be a god then a sacrifice, but mostly a sacrifice because you don't need to tell God that it's your God or to call him. As long as he sees a sacrifice, it's magnetic. It's like you've put a nail near a magnet. Before you know it, it's gone. So your sacrifice is very, very important in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So we thank God for all the uh, the contributions. I want you to uh, open the Bible to the book of Job 33, subsection 15, Acts 10, subsection 9 to 10, Numbers 24, 1 to 4.